I don't know that this is something we've tried just yet. 22H on a scrub hair, about 160 meters, and of course, it stopped short there of our shot, but that follow-up was able to bring it down, and I'm honestly just kind of glad to see it dropped immediately. Sometimes 22H does not seem to have the most power, but I wanted to come back out here to Burhunga Savannah again today. It's been quite some time since we've done a proper hunt out here, and I know we were just here last week for the 24-hour stream announcement with the Diamond Lion, but I don't really consider a less than 90 second video to be a proper hunt and even going back to the video before that it was like a split hunt between Yukon and Rahunga so even that wasn't a full hunt but we get to see the impact of the 22H there and no surprise now seeing that it was a right lung shot that it insta drop but nice little 5 score where 5.3 is diamond and yeah I, I really don't know when the last time we did a full hunt on Rahunga Savannah was but I'm looking forward to spending a good couple hours out of here. And if there is one species that we shouldn't spend too much time going after today, it is probably the Cape Buffalo. And going back to the split hunt that I mentioned, that was the trophy that we got from here, obviously the albino Cape Buffalo. And I'm just not too sure that we have a lot more room for any trophy Cape Buffalo in our lodge. I mean, maybe a super rare, but other than that, I don't really know what we could potentially add. So. We'll go ahead and take this guy as it is Cape Buffalo drink time, and I wanted to kind of go through this way. We're basically going to pass through some decent uh, rest zones for things like scrub hair, wildebeest, maybe even uh, kudu as well. And of course, those are the new Truax, so that's something I'm definitely interested in spending some time chasing. Those and free at level 4 warthogs are uh, welcome surprises as well. I am kind of pleased that we got that shot off because he started to end up running away from us. Nice little 50 scoring gray. I saw the hunting pressure pop up pretty quick with the cave buffaloes. I don't think it made it far. Does sound like we're getting charged. Let's kind of get out of the way and maybe reload the 338. I actually wanted to bring the 470 today and mostly it was going to be for this particular scenario. But the thing is, if we would find a decent lion of any kind, we're kind of stuck. We have to get close and Let's say we could find the albino female lion that I want. I would hate for it to be down to making a good shot with the 470, so sticking with the 338, and in that case, it did a fantastic job, not only on that Cape Buffalo, but the other one as well. They both went down pretty quickly. Much like the last time this happened, I am pretty sure we're looking at a guaranteed troll level 5 male Gimsbuck, but it's just been so long since I really consistently went after them. We have to go ahead and take that shot just in case. And the thing about it is, and I don't know if there are going to be any that will make it super obvious, but like that's a decent four. And the level five absolutely dwarfs it. And maybe if I were doing a Gemsbuck grind at some point, I do intend to do one unless we can get a diamond in a scenario like this. A male diamond Gemsbuck is one of the few things that we don't have that I still really want to get. But... Without consistently hunting them and, and getting to see the difference in the horn size, it's tough to know for sure And when the estimate goes above that 337.5 mark for diamond. I've got to take it just in case I'm seeing it wrong. And once again, like last time, I'm looking at this and I just have no idea. So I think the only answer is to claim them. And yeah, 325 and a 232 weight, that is always going to be the troll horns. And... I guess if there is one silver lining, one of them was single player and one multiplayer, but we're at least finding some level fives, and maybe if we're continuing to spend some time on Verhunga, we can at least start to differentiate just by seeing them and not by having to actually go and claim them. I know we have tested some stuff along this line, but I'm not sure we've shot a jackal with a 22H. And as he's getting ready to take off, we can hit him there with that at about 150, and that's actually, unfortunately, kind of what I expected to see. It seems as though shots at that range just don't tend to have the punch they need to. And what we may do, because jackals run extremely slow, is go ahead and throw the polymer tip rounds in there. And if we can get a second shot, maybe we can hit him and get a lung. But I'm not actually sure polymer or soft point that it matters you know, beyond about 100, 120 meters. That just kind of seems to be what happens no matter what. And that's not even the same one. I have to assume that it went that way. 
Unless it maybe went further down to the left. I mean, normally, and I assume they're together, they would kind of flee together. He's not dead. Well, I guess for now, we'll try to get to level two. I really don't know where the seven went. I feel like that shot would have been good. Now, in this case, seeing the health not drop yet doesn't worry me yet. I think we got a lung at about 120, whatever that was. Just gonna take some time to bring him down because the 22H is a little underpowered. Seriously though, as for the seven, like I don't get where he went. Maybe we'll hit his tracks on the way over here. We've got our level two down. Nice little gray and yeah, 136 meters left long. I wouldn't say by a ton, but there was some room in there. So that likely should have been the way that we approached it. And that's actually good to know. Like I've only got 12 polymer tip rounds uh, left with the 22H, but considering there is a a reason to use them at least at long range, it's kind of worth carrying both. Now, as for that level seven, the fact that it didn't die, there's no hunting pressure over here, and I mean, it was just kind of a test. I think we'll leave it alone and continue on, rather than waste what's left of lion drink time. Kind of disappointing to see a rather small level four for that track. It was a max weight spring buck, literally right where we uh, left off there with the jackal. And before we go and look for lions at other spots, I wanted to track it down. We have enough diamond spring buck in the lodge. Um, I, I don't know that we really should be looking to add more, but they're one of those species. It was maybe the last of our hunger that we didn't have a diamond of, at least when it originally came out. Obviously, Gensbuck and Lion were added later, so I wouldn't have had a diamond of those. But it, it took a long time to get a diamond one, and I always did enjoy hunting them. So they're just one of those ones where if I get a max weight track, Normally, I will go after it, but yeah, 38 to 42, it might be 38.25, I think, to 42, and he's 38.34, so uh, kind of on the low end, but at least that's a guaranteed gold at that weight. That's one of the better looking kudu we've seen at all since Drurax, and I'm kind of surprised to see it's not only a level 4, it's a non-max weight estimate level 4, so there's no shot that he can be even close to diamond. Diamond's 151, I think. We'll go and figure it out. I thought about actually shooting that other one as well, but we're kind of just on our way to go and check for lions. Kind of surprised to see a couple of cootie just come running out of the brush and bed down, but it's an opportunity to see how big they can get without even being max weight. I wouldn't be shocked if he's 90 point something. 89.46 is close. 139 score, I mean, barely 10 shy of diamond without even being in that max weight class, that's gotta be about the upper end of what a kudu in that weight class can reach, and by far the best one we've seen today. Finally, at least, we get to see a max weight estimate lion, but he is the lowest possible level to be in the max weight range, just a level seven, but at least it'll be a decent seven, and I mean, we've been running around seeing mostly, and it'll be still in sight, there was a seven over there with the lower weight estimate with a max of 236 kg. That or lower has kind of been the, the way things have looked. I think this will be his track right there. So even just to see a high weight estimate and a little bit of hope, I'll take it. That along with a drop shot will definitely take those sorts of things where we don't even have to track. Double lung and heart from the 338 championship, although I will say that certainly appears as if we shot behind the heart. I think when they're moving, sometimes that can kind of happen where like the bullet path doesn't necessarily represent what should have been hit, but either way, double lung would have been fine and a nice 46.5 lion. You know, I do think it says something about this map when what I would consider a fairly lackluster hunt does still include a troll uh, Gensbuck. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of maps where we can easily hunt and have a decent hunt for multiple hours and not see a single max level animal. So the fact that we saw a troll Gensbuck here and it was just kind of, you know, almost expected in a way for Verhunga, like I said, I think that does kind of speak to what kind of map this is, but there are just wildebeest going absolutely everywhere. I get the impression that there were two herds in there. I still do not see any fives, but I think we're all good. I don't think we made a mistake in taking that shot. And what an 
absolute mess of tracks and zones in here. We're lucky that animals glow as well, or we may never have found this guy. Just a 35.7 uh, gold blue wildebeest, and it does seem as though the gold wildebeest are more common now than they ever were. I still would like to get a gold bighorns diamond. We have a, a couple of diamond wildebeest in the lodge. I think they're both just like common bighorns ones. At one point we had a bunch and they've kind of slowly been phased out, but that's something we can maybe work on getting sometime kind of down the road. I think we have enough grinds going on for the moment, but I think on that note as we're still scanning around and trying to make sure we didn't miss anything, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.